Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ghost Watchers. Today I'm going to show you how to beat one of the newest ghosts that came uh, I think yesterday or a few days ago. I'm a little bit late with the updates, but yeah, it's one of the newest ghosts. It's called The Nun. Have fun watching. Okay, let's do this. Single player, insane difficulty, abandoned house. It's so weird playing like during the day when there is like so much sun outside in my face right now. <laughs> Like usually that kind of games I play during the night and it's probably the best option to play them during that time. I'm just gonna get these three items, they're probably the perfect one for insane difficulty. Don't really wanna explain why, it just that's my option in my opinion. Everyone's kinda like different opinion about that. Okay, MF2. It's not moving, came to you, okay? MF2 1 2 I don't have option for MF1 2 So it's probably 3? I think it's 3 Ah, oh, there we go 3 It might be. Yeah, it's probably the nun. Because it doesn't leave any footprints, right? If it doesn't leave any, it's the nun. For the ghost to spawn. Oh my gosh. Already breaking something. Okay. Yeah, at least we are outside, that's good, at least we are outside. Oh, hey, a pumpkin, yay! Let's see, okay, there we go. Oh! E? Let's go! Same difficulty, abandoned house, no modifier, um, round 100. Because I'm very bad, I can't get the ghost. Like, I can't catch the nun, it's so hard. Like, the developers made the game so hard, I can't cut her. But though it's insane difficulty, I guess it's, that's the reason why. Okay, let's see, no fingerprints, no footprints. I don't know why, I think it's because I play too much Phasmo. I call it like uh, fingerprints, but it's uh, footprints. Hmm. Here, where are you? I think I check like almost every single place. Maybe downstairs. Yep, downstairs. Minus three. And MF, is it MF3? Yes, that's the nun. Uh, nice. I think it was like MF3. Okay, we have like almost all evidence. Let me try to get this. Actually, is it still downstairs? Yes. So we have M3 none. Then meter like minus five to five, still none. And no footprints. The none. I'm so lucky with that actually. Now I have all I have to do is just not to fail, not to die. Because apparently this is like the third one, the third one that I face. And yeah, I, I die on that, like... Why? Practical counter, 100, 500, we don't need this, we don't need it in this. Uh, get this, this, this. And I'm gonna get back one more time. Need to grab a few more items. Uh, if it's the nun, we need a crucifix for the fence. Okay, let's go. So I'm gonna put that light over here around all items so I can see them. Ghost Guild sign. Are you here? Are you angry? Where are you? 
need this anymore, we don't need this anymore, we don't need this anymore, we're gonna throw it like uh, at the corner like this. And now we just have to wait for these items so we can see what's the age, what's the mood, and once we're done with that we can go over here and analyze that. I mean, um, how is it called? Analyze? No, I forgot the word, my bad. It must be human. Oh, there we go! Yes, I knew it. I knew there's gonna be interaction with these two. So you see, patience. A big patience, actually. A lot of patience. Side to side, so this is middle. None, middle, calm. Let's do this. And the reason why I'm with walkie talkie all the time, I'm trying. Uh, Why? Why did this happen to me? What did I do wrong? What did I do? Everything was correct! Everything was correct! Okay, let's go again! I can't believe it, like, what did I do wrong? Like, my, my only guess is probably the footprints, because I... I think I probably didn't see some, like there was probably spawn somewhere, but I didn't see it since they can be like a, a small uh, food print, you know? So I'm gonna be more careful now, I'm gonna be more precise, and I'm gonna check way more carefully. I'm gonna be very carefully with that. Hmm. It's not in the basement. Like, I, I was uh, like almost 100% sure that it's spawning almost every time in the basement, but I guess it... That's wrong idea. Hmm. Temperature? Drop? Okay, that's uh... That's probably none. Please tell me it's a none. So, Tenometa, minus 5 to 5, MF3. And no footprints, right? Please give me none. <laughs> I want none again. Okay, just in case I'm gonna check again the Tenometa, the MF, the MF just went away. Okay, so I didn't see any any footsteps, like I, I checked like the entire first floor, I don't think it's on the second floor. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna get the rest of the items, it's up, it's up, let's go. Let's do this. Protective item is always crucifix, remember that against the nun. Okay. Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? How old are you? Practical counter 100 to 500. And again, I'm gonna. I'm gonna check the second floor just, just in case. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm not far away. <laughs> That's just next to me. That's nice. Where is the crucifix? There you go. So yeah, I'm gonna check the floor just in case. I even have a time to check what, what object is I can do. Should I get take it to get the cursed item? Hmm. I'm too afraid to go deep inside the second floor. This is a very creepy place. Like, I know it perfectly, every single room, but it's still creepy. Uh, use cursed mirror. Correctly identify goals by the first time. Take a photo of a drowning in a notebook. Okay, that's, uh, that's an easy one. I'm gonna do that, actually. Yeah, why not? Okay. So we have on the radio crow. Hmm. So 
both give us a sign. What else did I, did I had? I forgot, like, uh, take a photo of the notebook. Ah, oh, play with the mirror. Okay, let's, let's try to find the mirror. Mirror? Where it could be in the mirror? I think it's on the second... Yeah, I, I already think I know where it might be. I'm gonna take it as a app. Like, it's either in this room... Oh, okay, we have evidence that- Oh! Cursed item, okay, I found the cursed item. Hmm, where is the mirror though? She just right? That's good, that's good. There you go, the mirror. I can drop that. I don't think that this actually will work. Uh, okay, so... Notebook, that's uh, human, right? Yeah, it have to be human. Always apart uh, from side to side. The dog doesn't interact, but I think it's gonna interact. It's just not yet, okay? Like this. <gasps> oh my gosh, run, run, run. Run! Oh my gosh, he just chased me and I just escaped. Okay, uh, take a photo of a drawing in a notebook. Why this didn't work? I already did that? Take a photo. Like, what did I do wrong? Where did I drop my items though? Where did I drop my items? Hey! I'm gonna buy another crucifix. I don't know where, where did it go, man. Like, did, did they just drop be below the map or something like that? I can't see them anyway. So, no blue interaction. No way, man. They just disappear. Like, I don't see them. Am I too blind? I think I'm too blind or something. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. Around two. Last time I just explored this machine. Now I'm gonna try again. Let's see what's my luck. And then middle. Aggressive. We know for sure there is no footprints. Notebook is human. This is the right one. Wisha Bart is the right one. Radio Curl. And the only thing is the Voodoo Doll. Okay. It doesn't interact. It have to be, man. It have to be. Please, don't explode. Yes! There we go. Okay, and now we have to do the weakening part. Cross. Light three candles in the location. Cross. Okay. <laughs> I already have cross. What do you mean? I have to buy another one, right? Wait, I have assault too. Okay. Okay, he's gonna attack me any moment now. He's gonna attack me any moment. I'm just gonna stand like like this. I don't wanna even stare at him, it's so creepy. I'll drop this here. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh! I don't know why did I throw the salt. I, I just got scared, man. I don't know why did I throw the salt. Okay. Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay, man. Okay. Um. Now the second part. I have to get another crucifix. <laughs> I have to get another one. Um. Uh, so light three candles. That's easy. And then we have blow out our candles. I hope it's gonna be the same that I'm gonna light if, it, if they're not the same. Okay, so we know that there is one here, one inside that... One inside that room over there, and I don't know which one is the third one, but we might die by doing that. Let's try. What the fuck? What the fuck? 
Okay, let's get another crucifix. This is insane, man. This is insane. Why? Why you're attacking me like that? Give me a break, man. Give me a break. What the fuck? Okay, let's light this. Why is it not working? Why? Light? Do I need this item? Do you need a cork fire for that? Is this how you light the candles now? Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. One. There's no cat out here! I remember there was one here! What the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. Let's go fast, let's go fast. Rush B, rush B. Where's the, the, the second one? Okay, okay, okay. There we go, there we go. Let's just run away. Okay, there's the third one here. I saw it. Okay, run, run, run. Okay, I found my items. <laughs> I found my items. They actually did, didn't drop below the map. <laughs> Okay, thank god. Far south. Far south. Okay, that's the far south. And Chris Tachi. Blow out our candle. Okay. Okay, that, that should be easy one. Okay, gonna drop this. Gonna prepare it like here. Far south. Come on, let's go. This is insane, man. Like, I got so lucky with that crucifix at the start, man. I got so lucky with that. I actually blow out all the candles right away, like now. Let's try. Okay. And the third one, I'm gonna leave it just in case. Okay. Oh! Where, where? Oh. Okay, there you go. The third candle here. Oh, wait, what? Run away, run away, run away. Oh, there is the Chris statue now. My bad, I thought it's the three candles. I mean, the all the candles. So, first, a Chris statue. <laughs> Man, this game. Okay. This is insane. I hope this is the only candle left. Like, I don't know if the ghost is uh, blowing candles as well. Like, if it does if if it does that, and it, if there is like a random candle in the second floor, then I'm doomed, man. Like, no way, Jose, to do that. Okay, just waiting. Patience, patience. We have blowout candles then, and... We can do that right away, I think. And then catch a ghost. Oh my gosh. So scary, man. This nun is probably... The creepiest ghost ever. Like, okay. There we go. There we go, there we go. Just, just get outside, just in case, just in case. And now I have to get uh, the ghost catcher. I'm gonna get a crucifix, just in case, again. I don't know what's happening anymore. Like this ghost literally just jumped on me like three times in a row from nowhere without any reason. I guess that's how it's working like an insane difficulty. I don't know. Now the ghost is like hiding. Like I can really see her. And the, the big issue is that the sun. The sun right now is like lightning my lighting my monitor. I can see properly. Like, where are you now? She's probably hiding somewhere, but where? Like, last time I got jump scare from that. Where are you, man? Oh, there we go! Oh my gosh! She was like hiding behind that event, man. <laughs> okay, nice. That, that was easy, actually. No, I, I'm kidding. That's. Oh my gosh, I'm checking the camera right now. Dude, that lightning is... <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry about that. I just can't do anything. Like, I, I, I can play in dark, but the, the camera is gonna be, like, so dark, so it won't be able... You won't be able, guys, to see my reaction when I'm, like, screaming and stuff like that. Anyway, guys, that's how you catch the nun on Insane Difficulty. I hope you enjoyed that video and you find it useful. 
If it's so, don't forget to like, subscribe, share and good luck with the hunting. Take care.